A sign of trouble on the global economic front, a plunge in the price of copper, 17% down from its recent high in April. Sarah Eisen spoke to the chief of copper giant Freeport McMoran about the outlook. Sarah? Eric, we spoke with Richard Ackerson, CEO of Freeport McMoran, the world's biggest copper producer. He's not sure if the global recovery is in full swing. Now, Freeport is a company that goes hand in hand with economic demand since copper is used in all sorts of industry and building projects. Ackerson does see pockets of economic demand in the U.S., but he's still very cautious. To say that there's a, a real strong, broad recovery, I think, is, is uh, you know, uh, going out too far right now. But we're encouraged by what we see and, uh, and, uh, and are hopeful that uh, we'll continue to see improvement. Specifically, he'd like to see more demand in commercial and residential construction. Now, Ackerson is also focused on China, 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 the most important copper market. And there's some risk here, too. China's plan to cool down its economy is, quote, a risk to the world's marketplace, meaning it could put more pressure on copper prices, as you said, Eric, off 17 percent from the highs of 365 a pound back in April. Overall, Ackerson admits there are strains in the economy, but they're nowhere near that of 2000. 2008 during the financial crisis, but it definitely doesn't mean it's all clear on the global economy.